What's up guys? Hope you're having a great week. It's Aiden from EDM Prod here. Today I have a yet another um, one hour build for you guys. I'm really excited to continue this series. Had quite a few requests for different genres over the past few months. Um, so got lots and lots of lots of different genres that I want to get through in the, in the coming weeks. Uh, one that has been requested uh, before is a jungle track, uh, classic German bass type, breakbeat type genre. If you guys don't know what that is, I'd recommend you go check out some jungle tracks. But so not really a genre I've particularly made. I mean, I've made German bass before, um, but I've never made like, you know, a classic kind of using the arm and break or classic breakbeat stuff. Um, so this will be a really fun opportunity. Uh, I'm not sure how authentic quote unquote it'll be, but it'll be fun regardless. And I think, um, you guys will hopefully be able to pick up some tips if you're into that kind of sound or not. Uh, now obviously this genre is pretty sample heavy, uh, using a lot of break beats and stuff like that, uh, from various funk or soul tracks usually. So, uh, I shouldn't have to say this like for the 500th time but obviously you have to get clearance if you're going to commercially use samples but for the purposes of this tutorial and this walkthrough obviously we're not making any money off this video so we can uh, be a bit more liberal with the use of samples sweet so i'm going to start the timer uh, as always it's going to be an hour timer as you can see we'll get into it and uh yeah, as always, leave comments below if you guys have any questions as I'm going through this process. Uh, I'm going to try and follow follow the same kind of process, but, you know, I always kind of go off on a tangent if, uh, if that's how the creative process works, if uh, I feel like I need to. So, sweet, let's give this a start. Sweet, so for this track, I'm thinking I want to start with like a... Um, a break beat so like I'm gonna find some sort of break sound uh, I've got a few sample packs or sounds I've got and we'll set the tempo to 170 instead of like the 174 175 from from memory um drum and bass or jungle back then was kind of a bit more um slower but I mean it doesn't really particularly matter uh, I'll set 1.1.1 .1 here and crop the sample. And No, what am I doing? Sucking at warping today, apparently. No. So this to like a length of here. Uh, yeah. Actually, kind of like that. But uh, one thing this this loop does need is maybe maybe instead of how does it sound repitch? Yeah. Sounds 
sounds a bit wonky. Though. to kind of sweet and then I might take it completely out in that and perhaps like got this new pack of like jungle breaks something so yeah something like that something Phaser on this, uh.
going to kind of follow the same sort of uh, pattern, I guess. Just so it's like cohesive. Yeah. Let's add some cool effects in. Yeah, something like that is sick. It's like some sick echo or something like that. Sound pretty sick. Okay. Um, I want some sort of like sound I can chuck in a sampler. Oh, something like that, but down like an octave. And with like a bunch of nice sounding like reverb or delay or something like. Yeah, let's like use some vintage verb. Like a uh, hall or something. Change those to like console hall. And this one to console hall.
that pad sounding really cool. Um, need some sort of bass sample. Um, sweet. Let's see if we can find like a nice. I think this one is cool. Cool thing with these pitch sub notes, it kind of doesn't really matter what note you play, but it's it's still kind of nice to adjust it so it kind of sounds in tune by feel, um, if that makes sense. But. I'm just going to kind of get in a rhythm here because I don't really know exactly the notes and like the pitches I want. I'm just going to kind of feel the rhythm. So like, let's do it. It's really hard with the latency on the uh, recording software. to one shot as well. Sweet. Okay, that's sounding cool. I think it needs something else though. Um, just something like a bit more, a bit more movement, maybe with another sound. So let's kind of pull up. Let's see what we can do with just like a default Ableton kind of pad or something. <laughs> If I use that same reverb and delay once again, as per the last one I'll be able to, I should just use it ascend. So 
like. Sounds down. Nice, nice, every down lower. Maybe we can do up higher for this second. So I'm thinking in the intro, get rid of all this. Get rid of all that. Get rid of the base. I'm thinking of just changing this so it's just these notes. And then maybe like on the last one, we'll go up but not. Maybe that's the other thing we could do is like... During some sections, we'll just add an octave up, maybe like in this section, and then. Once again, I'm going to use the same. I really just should set up a send and return for this, but I'm so lazy I'm not going to. this here.
make this. just the one section there I think it still needs like I think I'm gonna use my signature vinyl crackle because why else would I not I don't know if I can spell words right that would help too nope I think there's also a cool cassette one I like this one yeah, that's really nice. Let's unwarp it and then warp it again. Nice little hack to, and then you turn on loop and then it will uh, loop indefinitely, but unwarped technically, even though it's warped, it's like still the original tempo. So it's, yeah, gonna sound good pretty much. As long as you don't change the tempo. I still think I need to fill up this atmosphere a bit more. Um, this feels a bit empty still, like uh, whether it be more effects or more sound. Maybe like something. I need that. Yeah, something like mad like that. Yeah, sick. I like that little pitch down bass thing. Kind of gives it a nice spooky atmosphere. I think like some second effects to the late. Something like that.
the key is really to keep the interest by changing the atmosphere because there's there's not really much of a melody to catch on to in this genre, right? Um, I think I might add in like another another synth or something. Um, kind of want to try and keep it to Ableton as much as possible. I know I've already used like sound toys effects and stuff, but. See what else we got. Um, Yeah, let's try this. I don't know. Oh, actually, this is sick, yeah. That's actually really cool. Turn down that noise. Of the way, maybe. Yeah, that's way better. Making it more less spooky is actually kind of making it easier <laughs> to harmonically create sounds. Turning out pretty nice now. Yeah. 
maybe something to kind of fill it out a bit more. Oh, something like that would be sick. Put that through like a uh, EQ where all the lows are kind of like destroyed. I mean, highs are like out. Take off the really bad warping. Put like some echo on that, but something a bit different just so we're not getting the same, like. Uh, something like. Oh yeah, we just kind of get it. I mean, like something kind of sitting in the over, in, in the bed of it. I don't know. This is like a synth I recorded from like my friend's mic record. It's like a little riff I recorded. I want that. Build it. 
And then I reckon like we kind of take out the uh, synth and just kind of go nuts with the uh, Let's put these next to each other. I probably should have done this a long time ago. Uh, let's go like really fine with the... Uh
insert 16 bars there and paste the original. I think it'd be really cool to put like a like a crowd sample there, like after the chop, uh, like almost like you know, oh, someone's like celebrating. <gasps> Actually, I know the exact sample if I go to my uh, projects. I think it's in my finished tracks. <sighs> Hopefully these tracks are named. Oh, actually, no, it's not this one. It's uh, this one. Yeah. I hope these are named. Nope. I'm going to say it's like down the bottom because I added it late in the project. It's really cool to be able to add in. Yeah, that's the one actually. I might, uh... Add like some sick long delay to it just so it kind of. Sweet, we've got nine minutes left. Let's just go through and kind of tidy everything up. And some sort of like a cappella. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's see if there's like some sort of reggae or something. A girl in DJ, you know. Yeah. A good one, no, let's see the girl in Brock out. Dance, take the dance floor. So these are obviously all from tracks. So once again, they're like not really um you know you can't really say hey, up to the time millennium you know it's vibes cartel alongside baby sham wow, wow. bumble will one over get a girl in dj you know. 
I like this kind of softer one there. Like, I might just use that part. Might just use a bunch of delay on that. Take like the lows out there a bit. I kind of want it to get more delay like. And then we'll give it kind of a pretty straightforward master, like give it maybe some, some soft clipping with glue compressor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A good one, 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 one.
the highs of those breaks. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I thought it would be a lot worse than what it ended up being. Probably would have arranged it a bit longer if I had more time and add more variation and stuff like that. But for an hour, pretty stoked on this. So let's give it a listen through and then we'll wrap up. Sweet. <laughs>
sweet. Well, there you go. It's uh, always funny to see what's possible in an hour. Um, but as always, if you guys have any questions about the processes I have done behind this truck, if I didn't explain anything in enough depth and you would like to know more, leave a comment and we'll get back to you and explain it. Apart from that, guys, if you got something out of this video, please like it and uh, share it with your friends. That would be amazing. And of course, if you do want more of these type of videos, subscribe and you'll get all of the updates in that area. And lastly, uh, leave a comment for any future suggestions for this series or other videos on the EDM Prod channel. Apart from that, guys, I hope you guys have a great week and we got, uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Can't speak today. All right, see you guys.